Welcome back. Now, you could soon be able to fill up petrol and get alcohol at your nearest filling station. Now, that's if government continues issuing licenses that allow booze to be sold at the petrol station. The South African Medical Council says this move would be quite a disaster waiting to explode and would then send the wrong message at the same time. So let's unpack this with Alcohol, Tobacco and Other Drug Research Unit Alcohol Director at the South African Medical Research Council, Professor Charles Parry. Thank you for your time and uh, good morning to you, Prof. I mean, you say this would literally be a disaster waiting to explode. I'm sure you have data and uh, scientific evidence to actually back this up. Share them with us, please. Sure. You know, obviously, you know, it's a business opportunity for BP and, and pick and pay, and it would be convenience for, for, for drinkers. But the concern is that we are a country that doesn't drink responsibly. While, you know, 31% of adults don't, uh, only 31% only drink, um, six out of 10 drinkers uh, binge drink at least once once a month, and we're the sixth highest nation in the world in terms of the amount of pure alcohol we drink per drink drinker per day at about five drinks per drinker per day. And I'm certainly not drinking that amount. So some people are drinking theirs plus mine, and you know it has huge consequences as we've seen from you know what's happened over the last 18 months with COVID, when alcohols freely available, it can lead to filling of our trauma units and the like. And in fact, we lose about 170 people per yeah. day from alcohol-related causes, not just trauma, it's alcohol-related, uh, alcohol-induced, uh, we alcohol-induced uh, uh, HIV and TB, which come from, from drinking, uh, right. and the risk that, that occurs there, and, and, and so on. And in fact, our, our road traffic death rate is twice the global average. So it's going to add to that problem. That's concerning. But then when we bring in COVID, alcohol in, in a pandemic, uh, just before even this uh, potential decision being finalized, I mean, already the medical uh, you know, fraternity was reeling, appealing uh, you know, for this alcohol ban, as opposed to either be extended or to be kept because um, it kept a lot of casualties out of hospital. And it also freed up the beds. What would this mean then? Should it be implemented? I mean, just in, in a COVID perspective. Yeah, I mean, the timing is just amazing and uh, that they, they would introduce this right now. We know that our coastal provinces are, are still under a lot of pressure with the third wave. The trauma units, well, the, the hospitals are full and, uh, you know, adding adding more uh, alcohol-related trauma just puts puts pressure on them. So, you know, it's, it increases the availability of alcohol in general in society and that's a huge issue. And I think it just sends the wrong message too that drinking and driving are linked. And where will it lead? Now it's wine, but will it then open up for beer and, and spirits? And will there be pressure to, to sell later in the evening? Will other companies get on board? Will we see it being sold on, on the national road, say between you know, Johannesburg and Durban? And uh, 65 other countries don't have, have laws specifically outlawing the selling of, of petrol, uh, well, selling of liquor at petrol stations. And I think mm. we, should, we should do likewise. It's, it is part of the uh, uh, legislation that was supposed to come in in 2017 with the um, liquor amendment bill, but that hasn't gone, gone anywhere. Uh, you know, Prof, you know, some you know, uh, alcohol consumers who do support the sale of alcohol at petrol stations say, listen, uh, we are adults. We need to be allowed free will. We need to decide uh, whether we want to buy the alcohol or not. And you need to trust us as consumers that we will be responsible. Does the data uh, actually you know, affirm that? Does the data uh, sort of like inform that uh, South Africans uh, or consumers of alcohol in South Africa can be trusted to free will uh, to choose whether or not to be responsible with alcohol? Alcohol. Should it be, of course, sold at petrol stations? Yeah, it would be nice if you know if people would just go and you know get their petrol, pick up a bottle of wine, and then go home and drink it responsibly. But that's mm. not what the data the data says. People people don't do that. Uh, you know, we've got. Uh, about six percent of adults are dependent on alcohol, and then they'll, you know, go in and buy buy some chips or cigarettes or something, and they'll see, oh, there's wine there as well. Let's 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 buy it. Oh, I'm going to open up and, and drink. So yes, many many you know many consumers will drink responsibly and will just see it as a place a convenient place to get alcohol. But unfortunately, the data suggests that it's going to just add to the the problems that we have in south africa we, right. we don't as generally we don't drink responsibly and that's that's the problem we've seen that with with covid all right that's a data to consider then thank you so much for speaking to me alcohol tobacco and other drug research unit uh, director at the south african medical research council professor charles Perry, a pleasure talking to you